Rewind we do every Wednesday here <laughs> on Movie Talk. This is the part of the show where we look back at films that are turning 10 years old this week and turning 20 years old, years old this week. And this, of course, brought to you by good friends at AMC Theaters. So let's get started. First of all, turning 10 years old this week, no other movie wanted to open against it, <laughs> the juggernaut known as the Dukes of Hazzard. Uh, Johnny, yeah, yay! Yeah. Johnny Knoxville's masterpiece, The Dukes of Hazzard. I think the only movie that really starred, what's her name? Uh, Jessica, Jessica Simpson. Simpson. Jessica Simpson. Not true, Employee, employee of the Month. Employee of the Month. Oh, oh, corrected. <laughs> I, how did I forget Employee of the Month? Uh, so Dukes of Hazzard and turning 20 years old this week. I cannot believe this. Babe. Turns 20 years old this week. Also turning 20 is Bushwhacked, Something to Talk About, and the Denzel Washington classic, virtu uh, Virtuosity. Um, Dukes of Hazard. <laughs> I remember being one of the few people in my circle of friends going, screw y'all, this movie's going to be <laughs> fun, and it's going to be funny, and it's going to be awesome. <laughs> It was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. Like I couldn't. I just couldn't believe it. I just absolutely. What it should have been. What that Dukes of Hazzard movie should have been was what Twenty One Jump Street ended yes. up being. And you could tell they were sort of aiming for that, but they just missed. They just totally missed completely. And it's really unfortunate. I, I think there were moments in that film that I might have chuckled once or twice in, but uh, just and now then you go to like Twenty Years Old Babe. All one of the all time special movies, just movies you if you just want to watch a movie with with family and just feel great and have your heart strung strings pulled on. Babe is that movie. We we're joking around in the pre production meeting about the, uh, James Cromwell who plays the farmer, <laughs> and the movie's like. That, what, what did you say? Like he's been seventy for twenty yeah, years. Yeah, he has. He's it's been like, seventy for twenty years yeah. now. James Cromwell has not aged a day since he was in Babe. Since he was the old man <laughs> farmer, Babe, and he looks exactly the same today. It's Star Trek First Contact looks exactly the same. Yeah, he looks exactly the same in everything. Yeah, it's it's crazy. So that movie's really special. Then you look at a, a movie like a Bushwhack, where Daniel Stern, where it's like, hey, that guy from Home Alone, the sidekick in Home Alone, and the sidekick in City Slickers. Let's give him his own comedy and let's make it. <laughs> guy on the run and he's leading a troop in the woods and mayhem will ensue and then we never really saw him leading anything else again uh, and then of course virtuosity where uh, starring uh, denzel washington but it also starred russell crowe before people were really aware of russell crowe and that movie was just terrible russell crowe is like this He's a computer program who's a composite of all the greatest serial killers ever. Yeah. But then he manifests into real life. What? And yes. Ha yes. I, what? <laughs> and they yeah. have to Who get could have seen that coming? <laughs> I yeah. know, right? It's pretty fantastic. He's got these weird, really bad CG, like purple tendrils whenever oh he shows God. up. Remember that? And, and his like, name Ooh. is Sid 6.7 is his name. And they have to get, oh, yeah. who else can stop him but Denzel Washington? Yeah. So There's not an amazing scene with Tracy Lords in it where she's like playing oh, a DJ or something. <laughs> oh, geez. Class cinematic. So Clark, out of these films, the 10-year-old, 20 year olds, which ones stand out to you? Oh, well, I remember being a kid and seeing Bushwhacked, definitely. I was that you was, saw it in theater. I did, I saw it in the theater. I was the that was the right age, I think. No, it couldn't have been. I think Clueless came out around this time, also, for some reason. It just celebrated its 20th there like a week or two okay. ago. Okay, so, um, but uh, anyway, yeah, so I remember Bushwhacked for sure. And uh, Dukes of Hazard, I actually have friends that wrote on Dukes of Hazard, so I have no <laughs> comment. Jessica Simpson's single, do you remember her song? Oh, yeah. Boots are made for walk in. Absolutely. Oh, that, I forgot all about In that red bikini. Yeah, the whole deal. And uh, we talk, you know what? I'm more disappointed about the missed opportunity for her song because that song could could have been awesome and it was not good. So <laughs> you could oh always well. listen to the Nancy Sinatra original, I which could, is amazing. And I do like <laughs> and all you of the should time. always and you listen should to that always. one. But yeah, I remember Dukes of Hazard as well. I like Johnny Knoxville. I can't help it. And I like Sean William Scott too, but don't love that movie. <laughs> what, what's the one of these stand out to you, Uh Well, for me, Virtuosity, I remember seeing that and I was like, you know, super nerding out. It's going to be about the computer, whatever, <laughs> being super geeky and, and being ultimately somewhat disappointed by it. You know, they had a couple of cool action sequences, but it was really dumb. It was really <laughs> stupid. And it fell. It's like we were talking about this. Me and Dan were talking about like it's like the net was a little bit smarter, but it still had that like I'm on a computer. But at least it didn't have that swordfish like there oh, I mean, swordfish. Totally, swordfish totally, I swordfish. Totally, 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 totally cracked Can the code. Can we talk about swordfish you know? for a know, minute? Just, but it's oh. like that kind of weird. Like he's a hacker. Oh God, you know <laughs> that kind of thing. That had this element to it. 
of uh, stupidity of the computer and the internet, not understanding, like, do you press a button? It's Please like, have me back on when you do the rewind for Swordfish. Definitely. Please oh, have basically. Me back on. Babe always reminded me of like Charlotte's Web, like the, uh, the, 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 the sequel to it. George Miller directed mm -hmm. Babe, you know, of Mad Max. He went into his soft phase when he did this and Happy, Happy Feet. Feet. He's like, I'm <laughs> going to just do things with animals. I don't want to be uh, out in the desert. Then, all right, I'm back, you know, and then <laughs> Road Warrior. So, and uh, Bushwhack never saw it. And, uh, Something to talk about, can't talk about it. Never saw that either. So, And Dukes of Hazard, I agree with you guys. I think if they went that little further, they pushed into the 21 Jump Street area. But once again, they were earlier. They mm -hmm. were before that. They were like, we're doing an adaptation. So they're a little bit too close to the source material and Boss Hog to realize they should have been making fun of it. So.